Hey everybody, Embrix here with another LEGO set review, and this is set number 76103, Curvus Clay Thresher Attack. And it originally retailed for $40 in the US, and it has 416 pieces, and 5 minifigures, and 2 builds. So, let's take a look at the Wall of Wakanda first. So, the Wall of Wakanda, in my opinion, looks really good. I like uh, the stickers that are used for all the transparent purple pieces. I think it looks just like it does in the movie, and uh, not the Avengers Infinity War movie. This has no spoilers for that. I'm talking about the Black Panther movie, which came out before that. Now, it has three or maybe four main play features, so let me show you those. So, the first one is pretty simple. Something is going to shoot out from here. If you push something on the back, I'll show you what you push later, but... And the thing that shot out was this sand blue disc. And they do have an extra spare if you lose one because they're pretty easy to lose. You saw how far that went. Now, you can see that this has like a disc here. And if you hit that disc, something happens on the inside of the wall. So I'll show you that when I show you the inside. Now, my favorite moving action future feature sorry, is this door. You just push this and it goes up and down. It just feels so good to me. And I really like the shape that's over here. Uh, like for minifigures to enter, enter, it really looks good to me. And um, this wall, it's supposed to be long. So they have a pinhole here and a pinhole with a pin in it. So that if you do get another set, it's really easy to attach like more and another thing you can do so it looks longer is this corner folds in so uh i suggest when you look at it from the outside fold that out so like you have a bigger wall but on the inside i suggest doing this so that it's more of an enclosed interior and i'll show you that later now you can see this tower built here and I love it. I love the shaping. I really thought it would annoy me that like there's a gap here, but it doesn't for some reason. Please, someone in the comments, translate what this says. And I really like how these pieces are used. And the two turrets, this is the highest they can go, uh, like basically just straight. And I think that's okay because it's mainly going to be targeting ground targets. They can also spin and they can move down and... Just like a lot of stuff you can do with those. Um, I have up there a Black Panther and there's space for uh, to place figures a lot in this set. So here's the interior. I wanted to show you the tower and how much space is up there. So you can see there's quite a lot of space. I think you could probably fit three figures up there without it looking cramped. Maybe one here and then the other two here and here. So I think that's a good use of space. I also wanted to say something that I didn't notice before. This wall has space to place figures. So let's just take vision for a second and then show you the wall. So you can just place figures here or all over, along this wall and here. So I want to show you how the door opens on the other side. It just looks like that. So I think it looks as good as it does from the front, which is saying something since I really like how it looks at the front. Now they have these rings as design elements or you can look at them as um, uh, as Nakia's weapons because in the Black Panther movie, uh, her accessories in the Lego set are the same. Now I told you that about that disc on the back, so if you push that, the bed flips up. And now what you're supposed to do is you just put vision lightly on there, like not held in place that much. Then, then he goes flying out. That actually came towards the camera. So he's supposed to be in the bed. I'm not sure why. And you can see the Mind Stone here right next to him. And just like all the other Avengers Infinity War sets, it comes in a ring like this with three spheres. So that's awesome. And... This is the thing you push for the disc I told you about that shoots out. And let's move not, uh, sorry, Shuri, so you can see the rest. You can see the computer screens there. One's showing what I believe is the Mind Stone, and incoming Outrider drops you. 
the chair slash seat can't move or anything, but there's more of in writing there, which again, please someone uh, translate. I also wanted to say that closing this makes it look a lot better to me, just a more enclosed interior. And I also like the use of these pieces. They use four of those. So the only other build in the set is this Thresher, as they call it, because the set is called Corvus Glaive Thresher Attack. Now, the way it works is you push down on this red button and it shoots out. And what you're supposed to do is hit that same black disc, uh, the same black sort of target that I showed you before. Now, when I first built the set, I thought it would not work because a lot of stuff LEGO does is like side builds like this and they don't work well. But surprisingly, this works really well and let me just show you that. So you click down here and just goes flying off. So I think that looks really good. It just clicks into place. Now the thresher uses two of these bigger pieces and this one, but I think it looks pretty cool. And for the thresher launcher build, it's embedded or camouflaged in with all this greenery. And usually I hate when like they do technic stuff in bright uh, red or yellow, so I'm happy they didn't do that here other than this button. I think it looks pretty good. So the two figures on the bad guy's side is an Outrider over here and Corvus Glaive, the leader of the Black Order, which is basically Thanos' henchman. Now his weapon is sort of covering the, his weapon, his glaive, is covering the Outrider's face, so let's remove that. And it's really a shame that they didn't um, use like a new molded piece since I don't think the weapon looks accurate or good to me personally. Now the Outrider, let's start with because he's less interesting. I think it's a good figure to include because there are so many Outriders as seen in the trailer. So they basically have an army so it's always nice to get excess. I wish there were two but there's so many good figures in this that I'm okay without it. They have six arms, which is inaccurate, because in the trailer they have four. I like the torso printing, and the head printing looks really good to me as well. And let's turn this around. Now, you see this piece they use to connect the four other arms? So, this is it with that piece off, and it had so much amazing torso printing, which I think really good, looks really good, and the back head printing as well. Now, Corvus Glaive over here, his hood I like, and he looks sort of skinny, which is hard to do in Lego. And I like his torso printing, because you can see it sort of like, it sort of like shows some of his cloak still there. And uh, around the back, he has an alternate face, a more maybe evil face and a tattered cloak. Let's take that off to see his back printing, which I think looks Okay, and pretty good. About the Outrider though, uh, since they have four arms and not six, maybe Lego got some wrong concept art, or maybe there are going to have some with six arms. I would have preferred a double torso like this, something like that, rather than the pack on the back. But you know, it's still okay. It's a really nice printed figure. So here are two of the good guys, Black Panther and Vision. I want to show Shuri by herself because she's a new figure and she looks really cool. So Black Panther is the same one from the Black Panther sets, which is disappointing because we don't get a new one. But still, I like his head printing. His torso printing looks really good. Uh, shame that he doesn't have leg printing, but then on the back, his back printing, you can see like the necklace with the teeth on it right there and some other nice printing that piece on his head is uh not connected to his head now vision i love vision he's the same one from the tanker truck takedown that lego did for the civil war sets but i think he looks really good you could see the yellow mind stone in his head and just like his coloring is so unique it's what olive green and magenta and then that yellow uh, cape, which is sort of like transparent, translucent, and if you look that up, you can see more amazing back printing. Here's Shuri with her 
two little like arm gauntlet things. It's a shame we didn't get this figure in the Black Panther sense because she's sort of like a main character, but I'm happy to finally get her. Now about her arm gauntlet things, I don't like them. Uh, I really wish Lego would do a new piece just like I did with the Glade. And I, because you can see in the movie, it's more of like a panther. So yeah, I really wish they did that. But let's remove those to get a better look at this awesome figure. So another bad thing about this figure is no leg printing. Lego tends to do that in this Avengers Infinity War line, which I don't like. Although the torso printing, I think looks really good. And I like the facial expression. I'll show you the back facial expression. Uh, when I show you the back of the figure and that hair mold it's amazing look look how Look how that molding is. It's so unique so much texture. I love that molding and there's her back um, Head printing sort of like mean angry basically her battle face which Lego always gives us in these superhero sets I just wanted to show you the hair alone on a glass head because it looks so cool. So now you can like see more of the texture and detail. And Lego really put it in with this hair mold. I love it. So I love this set. I don't know why. I know a lot of people aren't going to like it. But I love it. And here's the problem. Why a lot of people don't like it. The $40 price. I think that price is horrible. But I got it on Amazon.com for sale on $32. And when we start looking at this set as a $30 set, it just looks way better. Now, for the $40 price tag, uh, this Thresher build over here, I really wish that, I'm not sure, maybe they uh, took away the Thresher and instead they made the wall bigger, maybe one of these sections or two of these sections bigger. But maybe it's a main part of the movie. We'll have to see why they included it. So I really like this set, and the minifigures are just amazing. Corvus Glaive, Black Panther, Sherry Vision, and an Outrider, which is always nice to get. So I recommend this set highly, maybe um, out of all the Avengers Infinity War sets. Uh, and if you don't have that much money, get this one for the $30 price tag. But for $40, I don't recommend this. Don't get it if it's $40. If you find it for $30 or $32, definitely get it. So that's all for from me for now. Please subscribe, leave a like, and comment. Bye.